Right, it's quarter to two. An hour ago I said I would turn back what, at two. Well, I'm on the turn already. I found out important things though about how difficult it is to get into Banwell Woods owned by the Forestry Commission. Um, apparently it's partly parceled up people have bought bits here and there. Um, but there still might be a way into part of it from the Samford end. So you can guess where I'm going next. I'm now going to do a reverse walk up a track I did in the beginning in June or July whenever I came. I can't remember the date but it was June or July. Late June, early July. And uh, I'm going to go back up that way. It's always nice to go in reverse because you get a different perspective. It's almost like going on a different journey. You know, everything's facing the other way. It's like looking in a mirror. You, do you know what I mean? It's, it's a completely different experience. Now there's signs all over the place here for shooting, for snares. Um, they really don't want you in here, but there is some public access and no one has said you can't come in here, so, you know, I'm in here. I'm going to be taking a nice stroll back and I'm doing Hutton Woods. I've already made my mind up, that's what I'm doing. I'm going up the Crookedy Lane, which I did again. I won't have to really video it. Because it's all on the other video that I've done in detail. I might just take the odd picture as a reminder, but I'm not going to video it. It always seems a bit silly to keep videoing in some ways the same area. Now, it's a good job I didn't walk all the way down here, isn't it? Because look at the barbed wire around that gate. I would have got in still, though. I What I would have done is what everyone else does. Um... I would have got in. I've just got over a fence now, so a lot of people would just climb over that bit. Look, you can see the people just climb over that, get in and out. But there's no sign of no cows. Okay, so what we're doing now, we're going to walk the reverse journey. Those black cows are probably up here. I've seen them in the field from when I was on the bus the other day. I looked over this way. So I'd already had it in my mind I would be coming this over here. And um just zoom in to the end, see if there's anything lurking. That's one good thing about having a zoom camera. It gives you plenty of warning if there's something ahead that looks a bit dodgy in whatever it might be. See these trees are probably well, they just fall at any time, some of them, couldn't them, after the storms we've had. Yeah, so I'm, what I'm saying, I'm quite happy with what I've discovered today, and I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I asked around three different lots of groups of people. The woman in the end was the most reliable, who lived in the house. <coughs> Because she told me about a couple of times a year the people of the church are allowed in there to admire the primroses, like Mother in Sunday and times like that. There are times. I mean, the thing is with the Forestry Commission, you can always ask them if you can have a, if can you have an invite, you know. So. People are very wary. I said to that bloke, oh, I don't think there's that. And he said, oh, they will be after you. They will. I said, oh, well, I'll just make out I didn't know. <laughs> he didn't, he wanted to get away then. People get upset easily. And I, I am a bit sharp, you know. It um, comes from having to be forced to be independent and not have anyone watching your back. I've had to, that's why people say I'm so independent. I've had to be. There ain't been no one watching my back. No parents, no sisters. They did for a little while, but got their own lives. 
and you don't you shouldn't have to think that if you've got someone washing your back I mean some people live very closeted lives they're wrapped in cotton wool and there's a hell of a lot of people men and women who wouldn't even walk out here on their own or do half the things I do I've always been like this and it goes back to the thing I talk about sometimes the field where I was forged I was forged in the field where I learned all sorts of skills I learned a lot in the field believe it or not and uh, had the freedom was given the freedom of my mother the field crops up a lot in a lot of my walks as well because childhood is important to everyone. You hear stories about these people that were abused in their childhood and it always comes back to that. A lot of their issues, or good or bad, whatever it might be. And don't we won't just think of that, let's think of something good. Um, somebody helped you develop skills in whatever way it might be, horse riding, running, um, swimming, they were there to help you That in your childhood. You, you would remember that. You know, there's things you remember. Um, you always do, and it, you carry it with you. I mean, I always remember my mum, the value of food. They lived through the war with rationing, scarcity. I wrote in that track there, leads to the tower. Right, if you go up there, you'll get to the tower. So, food, she was very strict with food. My mum, actually. Right, we're coming up to the cows now. Let's hope they can't get in here. I've got to look for what you have to do. Because the fence up there isn't very strong. I reckon a cow could get through it. I'll just zoom in. I'll come back here a minute. Then I'm going to creep quietly past them. Just in case the gate's open. I mean, you don't know. That's the cows that would have been in the field lower down earlier, which I passed. Not one has spotted me yet. When they do, they're very interested in you. Now oh, I'm trying to be quiet. I'm going to creep along. Just in case that gate is open. I mean, you don't know. Lovely views here, look, and I've just walked from back there. You always have to look for get out claws in case they were to charge the fence. They will know where the hole is. They are, they are frisky, I'll tell you. They are frisky. The gate's further up, they're actually facing. Feeling one has spotted me. Yeah, he's looking over. They can smell you a mile off, you know. But he's, I don't think he's taking any interest. Yeah, that one is definitely. There's, no, there's two now. Two spotted me now. I'm not going to talk to him. Just gonna carry on walking. They chase you that lot, but I can tell. When you're going out with a lot of cows, they ignore you completely. But they're not. They're all looking. See? They're all looking over. Gonna take a picture of them. That's Banwell down there, by the way. <laughs>